Hello guys, this is a complete EmuDeck PlayStation 3 emulator setup guide. I hope this will be the only guide that you need to play PS3 games on the Steam Deck. This is a very detailed video, so I have broken it into several chapters as shown on the screen. You can easily skip to the section that you are interested in. The PS3 emulation is working really well on the Steam Deck. But I still recommend you to check out the emulator game compatibility lists before you start any game. Here is the emulator compatibility website. I already have this website linked under my video description. Now let's dive into the tutorial. The EmuDeck installation is pretty easy. I will quickly explain the installation process here. I will only cover the EmuDeck PlayStation 3 emulation in this video. First, we need to switch to desktop mode on the Steam Deck. From desktop mode, use your Firefox internet browser and go to EmuDeck official website. I have the EmuDeck linked in my video description. From this website, we can directly download the EmuDeck installation file. Once it is downloaded, we can click show in folder. We need to copy the EmuDeck installation file onto our desktop in order to process this installation, and this is mandatory. Then we can double-click on the EmuDeck installer from the desktop. Click continue on this pop-up window to confirm this installation. Let's select the custom mode here, which will give us more option to set up the EmuDeck. Then click continue. I highly recommend to use SD card for your emulation games. Even with E1 type SD card, it works perfect with EmuDecks. So, we will pick SD card as storage here. On this page, obviously, we need to select Steam Deck. On this screen, it shows all emulators that are currently supported by EmuDeck. I will disable all the emulators except the PlayStation 3 emulator, which is called RPCS3. Since I only cover PlayStation 3 emulation in this video, but you can always come back to this page and install any emulators that you like later on. I will leave everything on for this page since EmuDeck has already done all the configurations, so we can take advantage of this. The auto save feature is not available for PlayStation emulator, so I will turn this off here. I don't want to be a member of Retro Achievement, so just click skip here. On the next couple pages, you can pick any options you like. It's all about your personal tastes for the emulation game. I would like to set up my 3D games at 16x9 screen ratio and keep the 2D games at 4x3. You can pick any emulation station theme here. I personally like the RB simple style. Then click Next. On this page, I don't want to install any homebrew, so I will just select No here. The EmuDeck now starts processing all the installation. It will take about 2 minutes to complete everything here. After everything's done, we can click Exit. Now we have completed the EmuDeck installation on the Steam Deck. The original EmuDeck installer is now changed to EmuDeck Access icon on the desktop. That's all for the EmuDeck installation. We need to install the BIOS first. Let's open the Firefox on your Steam Deck desktop mode and head to the PlayStation 3 software update website. I already have it linked under my video description. So from this website, we need to download the PS3 4.89 update firmware. Make sure you click Allow Download when the Steam OS says Potential Security Risk. After the download is finished, we should be able to see the firmware file inside the download folder. Now we need to go to the Start menu and type RPCS3 in the search bar. You will find the PS3 emulator. Then click and run it. Once it is opened, just go to the file on the top menu and select Install Firmware. Then select the firmware that we have previously downloaded. The firmware installation now starts. It will take about 2 minutes to finish. We can now close the PS3 emulator 
and delete the firmware file that we just downloaded. There is no need to keep this file. That's all for how to install the BIOS file. Now it's time to install some PlayStation 3 games into our Steam Deck. In this chapter, I will only show how to install the ISO and PSN type games. In the next chapter, I will cover the PKG type game installation. I have all my PS3 games stored on this external SSD. Just a friendly reminder that the Steam Deck SD card cannot be read by Windows PC or Mac. So the easiest solution is to download everything you need from your Windows PC or Mac, then transfer onto Steam Deck SD card. Before we go into the actual game installation on the Steam Deck, I would like to show how to prepare the game files on your Windows PC or Mac. Here is my Windows PC screen. And this is what I currently have on the external SSD hard drive. Let's start with the ISO file first. First, we need to create a new folder and name it same as the game name. So I will name as skate3 here. Then double click and open the ISO file and copy everything inside of the ISO file. Then paste everything into the new game folder we just created. After the copying process is done, we can go back and delete the RSO file. This RSO file is not required anymore. At this point, the RSO is ready to use for our Steam Deck. Now let's look at the PSN type games. Those games most time will come with one folder, which contains three subfolders like those ones shown on the screen. We don't have to do anything for the PSN type games. They are always ready to use. So the PSN format game is the easiest one to use. We have the ISO and PSN game files ready to use on the Steam Deck now. Let's plug the external SSD into the Steam Deck now. We simply need to copy those two game folders from the external SSD and paste into our Steam Deck SD card location and show on the screen. So please make sure the game folders are pasted into this location on your SD card. The copying process will take a while. After it is done, we can now close this window. The last step we need to do is to bring the PS3 games that we just installed into the Steam OS interface. So every time we boot up the Steam Deck, the PS3 games will show up in our Steam OS library. To do this, we need to click the Emu Deck icon on the desktop and then click To and Stuff. From here, we need to select Steam Room Manager. Click Yes for this pop-up window. First, disable the parsers, otherwise the Emu Deck will scan all the game rooms. I recommend only enable the emulators that you are going to use and disable the rest of them. Since we only deal with PlayStation 3 emulations in this video, I will only enable two PS3 ROM formats here. The first one is the extracted ISO or PSN format. The second one is the PKG format. Make sure you have both enabled here. Then we need to click on the preview button from the top left corner. Then click generate app list from the bottom of the screen. Now we should be able to see those two PS3 games that we have been copied into the Steam Deck SD card show up here. We can also change the game album picture from here. For now, we can just click Save App List button. This will create the game title on our Steam OS interface. Now we can just close Emu Deck and return to the Steam Deck gaming mode. After we get into the Steam Deck gaming mode, just go to the library. We will see there are two new tabs show up. One is called Collection. Under this tab, it will classify emulation games by the emulation system. The other tab is called No Steam Game. Under this tab, you will see all the emulation games that have been installed on the Steam Deck. Now we can start God of War game from here. It will take a while to process the game room if this is the first time put into the game. 
The best feature of the Emu deck, in my opinion, is that it allows us to access all the emulation games from Steam OS interface directly. This is just so convenient. That's all we need to do to play ISO or PSN format games on the Steam Deck. I will show you how to install PKG format PS3 game here. Again, I have the PKG games stored on my external SSD. When we install the PKG games, the wrap file is required, so make sure you have both PKG and wrap files ready. Each game should have its own wrap file. Let's go to the start menu and type RPCS3 in the search bar. Click and open the PS3 emulator. From top menu of the emulator, click file, then select install package. Before you start the PKG installation, I would like to remind you that make sure Steam Deck has 50% battery life at least, always power supply. The PKG file installation will take a while to finish. The Diamond Soul game I used to install here is about 8GB and it took about 45 minutes to install this game onto the Steam Deck. Then we can click open. Click yes to process the game installation. We can delete the PKG file after the installation. There is no need to keep the PKG file on the Steam Deck SD card too. After the installation is complete, we can check two boxes here and click OK. Then we need to install the wrap file. So go to the file on the top menu again and select Install Packages. Pick the wrap file and install it. That's all for the PKG game installation, but for the Demon's Soul game here, we need to change one setting in order to run this game correctly. This setting is only for the Demon's Soul games. Right click on the game title and select create custom configuration and select GPU. Make sure we check the box in front of the right color buffers. Make sure you click apply. After the PKG game is installed, now we need to add the game into the Steam OS interface. This process will be exact same as I show in chapter 3, so I am not going to explain again step by step here. But I will show the process as 2 times speed here. Here you go guys, the PKG format Demon Soul is running perfectly fine on the Steam Deck at 30 FPS. That's all for the PS3 emulation. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Also, I have already made similar emulator tutorials for Nintendo Switch and Wii U system. Please check them out at the end of this video. Please don't forget hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching and Merry Christmas!